The following presentation is rated Web G for general audiences. Previously on Welcome to the Family. Hi, am I going to heaven or hell? I'm in charge of everyone's life. A van crashed into this building. The Big Easy. Well, let's go get our New Orleans grub on. It's a crazy place. Anyone can entertain you, but only we entertain you. With a mixture of fun, learning, and craziness, my team and I travel the world motivating and connecting with people. Are you ready? Welcome to the family. We went all the way down Canal Street, but we took a wrong turn. Bert somehow got us trapped onto some train tracks. There's a policeman in his car right next to us, so I got down and I asked him, and I'm like, we're kind of stuck here, and he's like, just make the U-turn. And I'm like, what do you mean, just make the U-turn? But there's trains, whatever train comes, he goes, just do it quickly. <laughs> he said, quickly, come on. We didn't know if a train was coming by, just like smash into it. It was quite scary. Almost there, almost there. I'm about to get in. Keep going, keep going, don't stop. We all wanted to see the Mississippi River. Another piece of history is that in the 19th century, it was the largest port in the South. And that's what made things happen back then, on the Great Mississippi River. And that's when LJ and Sabrina made that bet. She was like, LJ, I bet that you can't jump on that horse. And I was like, what horse are you talking about? It was humongous. I mean, that horse must have been maybe 15, 20 feet tall. It was really big. And I'm like, okay, challenge accepted. I'm not the tallest of individuals. This was an extremely hard task for me. <laughs> I also have a fear of heights, which is a thing. But it was raining and it was dark and there was police right in the corner. <laughs> oh, <dear. laughs> he did it! And that wasn't the hard part. Okay, <laughs> Easy for you to say. <laughs> the hard part was coming down. I definitely won that challenge with Sabrina. I'm just horsing around, man. <laughs> and that guy you just heard was a musician actually walking by. So when I jumped off the horse, I was like, whoa, 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 can I talk to you? So I interviewed him. What is it like being a musician in New Orleans? Uh, it's a wonderful experience, man. Yeah? You get to meet a lot of people? Or like, well, what is it, what is it like? I mean, to me, I just love putting smiles on people's faces. You know, it's more than just playing. Anybody can get on stage and play. That's true. But you have to make it your home. This trumpet, the piano, the organ, the trombone, all of it, that's my home. It's just to make the people happy. You know, cool. like, that's what you come down to New Orleans for. I was riding down the road and I felt a little jerk on the right side. We kept going and then I told everyone to be quiet and we we're listening and you hear like a thump thump. As we're driving down the expressway, someone honks at me and flashes their lights. And we thought, oh, they like the car. <laughs> this lady's like, lower your window. And then she tells us that we have a flat tire. I knew something was wrong, so when we pulled over. Whoa! Whoa, crap. <laughs> what the How Are you kidding happen? me? Oh my goodness. Wow. I had no idea it was that bad. Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We drove it till it was gone. Yeah, the tire was so bad that it bounced around and it messed up the electricity on the trailer, all the running lights, so we had to fix that too. We had LJ, and thank God he has just learned how to replace that tire. <laughs> if not, it would have been a longer trip. It's not even 10 a.m. <laughs> Sabrina, we didn't plan this. Yeah, we never know what to expect, really. Thank God you guys brought all those tools. We are stuck in traffic, which is a perfect opportunity to get everything that we need when people are hungry and or cold. So... I'm just gonna go shopping! <laughs> <laughs> Do I close this door? Yeah. I'll be back, guys! <laughs> so, I made it. Let's get some bread. <laughs> Here's your jacket. Here's your... Bread? Here's your napkin. Napkin? We made it to Texas, and then we had more car problems. So uh, we left New Orleans, uh, the New Orleans area this morning, and after we got a flat tire, our alarm started acting up, and we're on I-10 right now. We pulled over to see if Bert could get it fixed. Uh, 
uh, we're on our way to Houston to go see our friend Neri. So, Houston, we have a problem. <laughs> There's Dr. Olivo right now. And the nutty professor. <laughs> Can you hand me my light right there? It's the thing on the left, right there. This is why I married him. He's lazy on a daily basis, but when it comes to the, you know, the, when it matters, he always, he always acts like a man. Lots of fun things on this trip. Makes it memorable. <laughs> We've never had a flat tire. This is our first flat tire. We've never had the alarm act up. This is the first time. We've never had somebody step and poop and um, ride a horse. Uh, make illegal U-turns on railroad tracks. Back on the road. Next destination, Houston. Glide is a really cool app that allows you to do video texting with people. And we've created a community there. People all around the world, like-minded individuals that are all about empowering each other and motivating each other. And we actually decided that as we were going to go on a tour, we are going to meet a couple of people. Neri, we had met previously at one of my events. However, it's been several years since I've actually seen her. So we were on our way to Texas and she invited us to stay over for the night. Hello, welcome to Oh, you're so warm. Yeah, come into my cozy room. Hi, Sally. Hi. Oh, I'm so sorry, you guys are so Hi. Hey, you're oh, crap, you're so tall. Hi, Annie. You guys. Oh. Hi. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Hi. How are you? I'm so glad you did it was like surreal you know we have seen all these videos and next thing you know not only am I seeing her I'm meeting her family and she took us around the house and we had a great evening so what do we got here what is this Argentina and mm -mm -mm. and then we're cooking it up over here she's just such a sweetheart and she welcomed us with open arms and with delicious food from her husband Julio so wow. Wow. Mexican tamales are real hot and spicy Gary bought some of these when I was in Texas in October what is this? Oh, oh my god. god oh my god it's so good and it was awesome actually seeing the girls dance they actually performed for us oh my god are you gonna dance too? Are you gonna dance too? Have fun! One of the things I really enjoyed about Neri and her family was that they allowed the girls to have self-expression. <laughs> nice! Which is important because they end up actually finding what it is they want to do in life and being more of who they really are versus a copycat of your parents. That was really nice, being able to see their personality. And we actually spent the whole day with them, the following day with the children while they were at work. I'm Bert Oliva from Bold Worlds. Welcome to The Family Show. And when I, hey, what? Yeah, it's kind of difficult when you talk to yourself. So what I want you to do is I want you to comment, subscribe, forward, repost, do whatever it is that you're gonna do to make sure no one misses this show. But do it now. Do, do, what are you waiting for? Do it now. Now. <laughs>